scary today. Icelandic volcano's lava flow revealed in NASA images. The increasing area of land scorched by volcanic eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula, Iceland, can be seen in NASA images taken from space. The volcano erupted for the fourth time on March 16, after previously erupting on December 18 last year, then erupting again on January 14 and February 8. The latest eruption is still ongoing, ejecting lava from a two-mile-long fissure and scorching much of the nearby area approaching the border of the city of Grindavik. Experts from the Icelandic National Land Survey have processed satellite data from March 27 showing that the area of the lava field at that time was 5.99 km to 2.31 square miles, and the volume of lava since the start of the eruption was 25.7 plus or minus 1.9 million meters 3, 908 million cubic feet plus or minus 67 million cubic feet. The average extrusion rate of lava from the crater is estimated at 7.8 plus or minus 0.7 meters 3 per second, 275 cubic feet, s plus or minus 25 cubic feet, s, which is very comparable to the extrusion rate during the first phase of the gelding Adelir eruption in 2021. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said in a statement on April 2, NASA's OLLI, Operational Land Imager, on Landsat 8 captured images on March 30 that show lava flowing out of two active craters, alongside large swaths of blackened land that have been burned and coated in cooled lava from ongoing eruptions in the past. Several months, images taken on September 20 and February 10 show how charred land had expanded during the eruption. The eruption is currently stable, although it is expected to subside soon. Eruptions in the Sundnakor series of craters continue and two craters are now active. A third crater, much smaller than the other two, was extinguished at Easter. Volcanic shaking remains stable, the Emo said in its statement. Inflation at Svartsengi has not been detected in recent days indicating that less magma has accumulated in the magma reservoir beneath Svartsengi. And instead flows towards the crater where it erupted. The nearby Blue Lagoon was evacuated on March 16 when the current eruption began, as well as the nearby fishing town of Grindavik, which was damaged by flowing lava from several previous eruptions. A barrier built near the city succeeded in diverting most of the new lava, although one road was blocked by molten rock. This eruption did not create a large ash cloud like the one that caused major disruption to flights following the 2010 eruption of the Eyjafjallajökull volcano, but instead released plumes of gases including water vapor, sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. This latest eruption released plumes of sulfur dioxide that spread to Ireland and England.